Well, hi! Welcome to a hair tutorial. Bangs. Good old bangs. Everybody wants them in life. I found myself in the salon chair a couple months ago, desperately wanting bangs. I was talked down from it, and I didn't get bangs. So we gonna get some today. I've seen plenty of tutorials. Um, you know, the old uh, like gather and pull, right? Whew! That's a little rough to look at. But bitch. Just gonna. I didn't actually think I was gonna cut my bangs with a pair of motherfucking kitchen shears. Did you? Just kidding. When I was in the salon chair and I got talked down, I ordered these little babies. Fake bangs. I, I wasn't sure how well they would work out for me. I actually ordered this pair right here. They have like a longer hair strip there. I cut mine off, they just didn't blend well. I'm gonna show you my three favorite hairstyles with these fake bangs. If I have a second, third hair day, hair's a little greasy, literally pop these little babies in, do a little blending, and then um, you're good to go. Covers the greasy, area around your forehead also covers this uh first point that everybody kind of sees on your hairline that could be greasy or um in my case chalked over with like a white overlay from my dry shampoo or a brown one like a weird poop stain brown across my hairline because they don't make black tinted dry shampoo they only make brown and the brown is not black so clearly it doesn't mix does it? We're gonna move on to a day three, day four look. Now, what is that? Basically, it's just a quick and easy look. Go from the crown, go diagonally out and up. Make sure you're tying forward, meaning it's like standing up, kind of straight. See that little, cute little like, um, little zhuzh we got going on up there? Giving you volume. <laughs> and coverage. Oh, what, you don't like my bangs? You hush. So the reason we go diagonal and then up with this look is so that we can go diagonal and we can get those little baby hairs to blend in with the side of the bangs. You can really just even use like a spoolie, kind of go like that. And sometimes I'll even just kind of hairspray them. That way they all kind of stick together on the side and don't really move. And that way I don't get any little patches where you can tell that my bangs are fake. So yeah, I mean, this is literally the perfect day three, day four, day two, day one, whatever you want. Now, for my favorite hairstyle thus far in life, actually. I did this in a hurry one day and I went to work and literally every single person complimented me on my hair. We're gonna part all of our hair straight down the middle, yeah. We're doing pigtails. Another thing that's amazing about these hairstyles and these fake bangs is like doing these hairstyles, you don't have bangs in the way to be in the way while you do your little hairstyle. That's like another huge convenience factor. I take my full head hair part pretty seriously sometimes. All right, now we're gonna take an elastic because I don't have a hair tie over here at the freaking moment. We're gonna brush this half of the hair um, off, like, you know, to the side. Oh my God, my allergies, guys. 
Oh, forget the coronavirus. Dude, my allergies are gonna kill me. Or maybe I'm allergic to the coronavirus. I'm just f***ing with you. So this look is gonna take some French braiding skills. It's a little more of an advanced look, but I promise you, practice your French braids and you'll be able to do them one day. Practice makes perfect. I will say I washed my hair for this video today and that was probably a big mistake because it's really hard to French braid clean hair. At least for me, because my hair is pretty fine, it's pretty thin, so it falls out of the look like real easy if you're not careful. We're gonna go all the way down and once we have French braided in all of our hair at this point to this point, like we've braided all of this, uh, it doesn't feel right. We're just gonna do like a few more little braids just to give it some support. We're gonna hold it all and we're gonna pull them out. That way we can create a fatter, thicker braid. All right, I do need to see this part because you don't want these to be too pulled, too big or whatever. And you, you see this? It's this little fucking guy, this little fucker. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with him in a minute. Now, remember how I said we went a little bit past our scalp? We're gonna go right up to the scalp, right past those extra braids, and we're gonna tie right here, unbraid the rest, and we're gonna pull. Do -do 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 -do. If you've got this little fucking flyaway, you get a little bobby pin, you take it, you pin it underneath the braid, and you just Pull it through, there we go. And all of a sudden it's gone. If it's like a little kind of loosey-goosey up here, you can kind of pull the hair tight and pin it down. That way you kind of get that little flatness and the little raised braids. All right, I'm gonna go braid the other half of my hair off camera real quick and I'll be right back. Um, the side I did in the bathroom came out way better than the side I did out here. This is not my good side. Again, usually I do this hairstyle when my hair is dirty. My hair does not curl when it's clean. But we're going to try because that's part of the hairstyle. Now we curl. And we're not going to go all the way down to the ends. I like to leave like that much of my ends out. I sort of think it helps it from the damage. I'm getting much better at curling my hair. Like my hair is just not good at curling. Also, I just realized I don't have a wide tooth comb. And that's the ideal comb to brush out curls with. We're just going to use our fingers. My hair looks kind of crazy right now. I've curled and let cool oh it's still warm so i guess it's not that cool but and actually everyone my whole life has told me your hair curls better when it's dirty i'm thinking my hair curls better when it's clean i gotta kind of like stand there's people fighting outside this is You all know I gotta go check out what's going on. So all I did was just spray some texturizer spray in my hair to give it some extra bounce. Mmm, the bangs, girl. Looking banging. What do they say about bangs? What do they say about bangs? Oh, you know. What do they say? Just Google it. It's not funny if you don't have anything to back it up with. Um, this is literally my favorite hairstyle at the moment. Even the back is really cute. Even past that, if I go to the gym the next morning, all I gotta do is roll these little curls up into little buns. There we go. And now we have two little cute messy buns. See, like these bangs, there's endless styles and it's fake. Look, if I don't want them, they're gone. This is cute too by itself. Actually, this is really cute. I like this. If y'all want bangs, get some fake ones. They're fun and it's zero commitment. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.